Well, my name is Rosemary Odire. I started singing when I was in school, primary level. Yeah, uh, there have been challenges, but so far we are heading somewhere. Okay, the journey began when I was a kid. My mom was a singer, though a church with church choirs. My dad was a music teacher, so I just fell in love with music. And uh, ever since I've been singing in churches, outside church. Then, oh, when I lost my job in uh, 2009, I decided to venture into serious music. And I've been doing that, mentoring young, young girls and boys. Uh, I'm, I'm nurturing talents in schools, uh, in the community. I work with so many, like in my group I have about 45 members. Some of them are students. I can say most of them are students. Yeah, most parents don't like it, but I encourage them to, to allow the kids to be in art because like right now in Kenya, employment is like hell. So if, uh, if someone can do something out of talent, then I feel so happy. And I feel more happy when I can help them achieve their dreams in this. I was a secretary. I won't wish to mention the company, but I was a secretary. I would want them to go far, very far. If they can earn through this, which uh, they have been doing since they came into the into this. I think I'll be the happiest mom in the world. Yeah, because I mother not only my kids but other parents' children. Because whenever they are with me, I regard them as my own. Yeah. Sometimes a parent feels the child uh, had daughter or maybe son. Uh, should go to college and like the, the the children do not want to go to college they feel they should be in art and they should give it their whole time and like the parents feel you are misleading their children and sometimes it's not me misleading but the children do not talk about what they want they don't share openly and some parents are just too rigid they want their children to be doing what they want. Their expectations are just too high, and uh, they feel being in art or being in music industry is like being in some kind of uh, lifestyle that does not go well with the children. What? The artists, I would say, okay, uh, like me, I would advise them to engage young young uh, young uh, boys and girls into that because like we are aging and we need to have art has just to be there for people to uh, to be entertained and enjoy and to create more employment opportunities so they should engage young young artists i've gained a lot a name that is one uh, <laughs> I can say right now I I can say I'm the queen of cultural music in the whole of Western Kenya region and it makes me happy yeah I sit with uh, diplomats I dine with them just because of art planning to yeah like in august you're supposed to be going to budapest for a cultural festival yeah. it has always been a very good experience dancing in her because she inspires she inspires me a lot not all moms or parents support this dancing thing or art as a whole there are very few parents who support this, and this makes makes me to love her most. Gone many places with her, 
uh, being dancing and it has always been uh, good. We have always got a good outcome. Uh, yeah. With her around. I have big dreams because I I just I just love art art as a whole. I just don't do art. I, I mean dancing, but I also do acting, action books. And uh, after I started dancing when I was still in class five, up to date, and uh, it has educated me. It has paid my fees, and I I I I know that it will it will make me go far. Best experience is uh, whenever we go to perform and they're with my mom and uh, the people, the media, they come and uh, most we take pictures with my mom and as we dance. Any, it's just the best moment I've ever had.